Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Ultra Cool Space Simulating Colony Simulator Mini Simulation Game. We are currently at the end of Cycle 5, about to make it to the beginning of Cycle 6. We have got ourselves some research on the go and already started using all those things in research. We do appear to have a little bit of an oxygen problem down in this bottom bedroom here. Maybe we could put another um, algae deoxygenator there. Yeah, look at that. That's not good. In fact, instead of the deoxygenator, I'm going to put a terrarium right there uh, and maybe run in some power. We can't do ceiling lamps. Ah, that's a little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could get away with the ceiling lamp. So we've got some atmospheric pressure issues here. Hopefully this algae deoxygenator should solve that. I'd also like to put a gas permeable tile under there, but I don't think we're quite on the way for that yet. No, we are starting our work on interior decorating. The reason we are going for the interior decorating is mainly for the mess table, but also for the ceiling lamp and the pictures, because, man, these guys are going to start hating this place soon, as I'm sure you and me would being locked up in such a tiny space space having to deal with each other for so long oh, just, oh, it would be horrible wouldn't it would absolutely be horrible I'm going to bust through this wall here I, w I want this stuff I want this stuff what have we got sand dirt sand I mean what happens if I give it a sweep I'm not expecting too much to happen because there's nowhere for stuff to go the dirt is getting moved around perhaps we could put a storage container I mean I eventually want a door here perhaps here is the place for a storage container okay let's let's put one right there uh, and also bump its priority up so we can get it working fast I'm also going to go up to the second level of speed here rhino speed if you will for those of you familiar with the sim city stage of um, speeds there. Okay, so in here I want to put some algae. I want to put cultivatable soil. Yeah, we'll uh, I don't want all of that. I literally just want the algae. Uh, thank you. I want to put all the seeds in here. I want to put the filtration medium in there. I can't think of any consumable ore I don't want put in. I think we're probably there actually. I'll take the copper ore off the floor as well and the sandstone. This is just to basically just to tidy up. These guys should go around and make this place absolutely beautiful and whilst they do that and uh, make a few researches under the way we're gonna have a small cut so air doesn't quite seem to be flowing down this slope in the manner that I was hoping for you can see we're getting quite a lot of build up there but everything's been cleared up there so maybe it will start flushing through that that's the hope that's the plan anyway how are we doing on this research five out of 20 oh this might actually take a little bit of time so let's start thinking about where we want to start digging now obviously one of the places i want to go is up towards this bleach stone but where else would actually be pretty good anywhere that goes towards algae or water we've got a load of slime over here so this stuff is slime that's more important later than it is right now we got some abyssalite down here. There's another load of slime and gold over here. I always love the way slime and gold go together. I'm sure they're trying to make a statement there. Okay, everyone's getting a little bit idle. So what I'm going to do is throw in loads of batteries. We're going to eventually swap these out for the big ones. But I think for now, just to keep everyone nice and busy and uh, doing stuff, we're going to set all this lot up. And that should give us all the power we're going to need like overnight as well as getting us through the day. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to figure out... Oh, look, we can take a new duplicate. I don't think we are, though. Narcoleptic, can't dig it. Scared. No, I don't want any of those. Nothing there was so good that made me go, oh, yeah, we'll grab that. Um, we just got our four people. Last time I said if you guys wanted to uh, rename some of these, you should uh, send me a link to somewhere you have shared. Unfortunately, I started recording immediately after the last episode. If you want regular content, that is going to be the way it has to happen. So we'll watch out for the renames next time. Okay, the end of cycle six. We need to get all the batteries done. I'm just trying to clean up the little area down here. We are out of Malwood, but there is plenty. Sorry, Millwood. Malwood. Uh, but there is plenty up there. I also want to deconstruct this tiny battery because there is something I want to put in here. It is, of course, the supercomputer. This is kind of the whole reason ZTech wasn't in the last one. It's because I wanted to rename this supercomputer into ZTech. But if we go in here, you can't actually rename any of the stations, which uh, is a level of customization that I feel 
might be missing from the game? I wouldn't this be great to have like the ZTech Memorial Manual Generator? I, that just seems like a great idea to me. Uh, hopefully these guys are going to come along and finish this tiny battery. Other priorities are a priority though. Yes, of course they are. So let's pop that supercomputer down with a little bit of power. Nice little uh, legacy kink in the wire there. I like that. Well, you may have wondered why I had emptied this little space out here. Well, I'm going to start making some other things up here. And this is going to be our food area. We're going to start with the microbe muncher. Now, most people don't like the microbe muncher. It's not really a nice addition to any colony. But it does get the food going when we really need the food to be going. I'm also going to push that wire up there. Do I want to dig this out or do I just want to throw some tiles over the top? I'm tempted just to do that. Seems like a fairly reasonable space for a mess hall. What are you guys doing? Literally, uh, talking of mess hall, these guys are just sat down chilling out there. There's a load of carbon dioxide there as well. So as soon as this has got sorted, um, which we're very nearly close to doing so, as soon as that has got sorted, we will indeed go for the uh, gas permeable tile just to try and make this place a little bit safer. Come on, Carl, you can do it. Just this little bit of research left and we will be there. Yeah, okay, cool. We got that done. That, that's really good. Uh, I immediately want to go into here. We've got four dudes. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's brilliant, just like that. I'd also like to put some ceiling lamps up places. And I'm not sure exactly where. Obviously, above here. Here is probably a good idea because they'll all feel all nice and cozy being under uh, lighting. I would probably also like to put one here. I feel that's possibly not in the best place for it, but it, it's going to have to do. I kind of feel like I've built everything down a little bit too, too cramped. Maybe we need to... I don't know, open it up a little bit more. Speaking of, we kind of want to seal this bit off. What I am going to do, I'm going to throw a ladder up there and then dig out these two bits. Just so I can get the top done. Uh, we're going to have a bit of an open space. Do we, do we want more millwood? We do actually want more millwood. So we'll go all the way up with that and then dig. Yeah, then dig. Okay, we can also get these briar seeds and then hopefully all the seeds will get put into place. I didn't actually want to dig all this lot out though. So I thought this had got filled up incredibly quickly, so I started going through and throwing out individual bits. It turns out we have more dirt than anything else. Dirt fills this, this little storage compactor up super, super quick. So what I'm going to do is build another one on this side with, with a high priority, of course. Oh, we can get up there and just do that like that. I was not aware. I was not aware. I'm, I'm too used to building spaces with like four or five headroom. Uh, and the duplicates not being able to reach up there. This is just temporary in case you guys didn't get that last time. I'm going to put myself a, um, a wall in here. Now, where was the dirt? Where did we see it? It was cultivatable store soil. There we go. All the dirt is going to go in there now. Uh, this microbe muncher, we need mush bars being made. Eventually, we're going to run out of food. Um, cultivatable, edible, there we go. Yeah, we've only got like the 700 left, and these guys haven't started being harvestable yet. In fact, these guys, these then two here, aren't even a plantable. Let's have a look at our priorities. Yeah, I thought this might be the case. So let's run an eight up there, and then everything else just kind of happens around naturally. We've got no research selected. Oh no! This is not what we wanted. We wanted to have got the gas piping underway for the gas permeable tiles, so we can turn all these into gas permeable tiles and have the carbon dioxide floating down when this guy uh, gets his run on that's the plan anyway whether it's actually going to work like that is another thing uh maybe we want to move this ration box to here you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it we're gonna put the ration box there um eventually after time what will happen is we'll condense this down to a refrigerator probably over here and then we'll have a hand sanitizer there but that that's that's plans that's plans for the future there so we'll, we'll keep that in mind for later Okay, one ration box down. That means this one is going to get deconstructed. And hopefully, they'll move the edible food up to the ration box. That, that's, that's all we can really plan for. Whether it's actually going to help like happen like that is another thing. Uh, also, here, here's something that I kept on doing uh, that was a mistake last time. Was sweeping the entire base. Let's see what happens if we do that. Oh, it's, it's going to be bad, isn't it? It's going to be really bad. In fact, I might want to cancel all that. End of cycle seven, lots of sweeping to be done. You know what, I'm actually going to cancel all that sweeping. Uh, sweep and mop all... Oh, these, these are new. I didn't. I don't think we had cancel options before now. There we go. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Ah, oh, that's so good. What a, what a great update. 
Loving it. Loving it. Okay, do we have one more there? No, we do have ones ready to go, but these guys, they're just so lazy. Oh, off they go again. Maybe not at full pace. I like to play at second pace here, whatever you want to call this second speed. Uh, I, I kind of feel it's the best balance between actually getting stuff done and not everything just kind of happening without you noticing. That That's my thought process anyway. So I've got these guys to sweep out this little area here because I think it's time to stop it being part of our base. In fact, I think it's much more important that it doesn't become part of our base there. Much more important. Let's cancel that as well so they're not like constantly trying to dig through. What is this? Algae? Maybe I should have dug that out first, but that's okay. I mean, there, there is plenty of algae to go around. Uh, is this place keeping all this like super high pressure? There's two, ki two kilograms. Two kilograms of uh, uh, oxygen here unbelievably good okay with the mess hall done and complete i think it's time to start going around throwing some blank canvas ah oh, uh, that's so uh, we can put one there not sure where else we can fit one i mean that's pretty good we want to put a couple in the bedroom i mean that is an absolute must let's keep everyone happy whilst they're asleep i'm wondering if we could put some yes in the toilet why, why would we not want to put one there and another thing i'm going to do is trash this tiny little battery so we can put a uh, sculpting block in there and we're just trying to try and make make areas just a little bit nicer for our duplicates to live and work in here i can see we need to plant that guy up that's pretty good uh the decor sculpting block can we make it out of anything nicer we can't yet so that's up at an eight let's prioritize all these up pretty high something like that okay that's cool uh also jobs wait we've only got one artist so let's turn the art off for all of those anybody else doing stuff that they shouldn't be like maybe we can turn those guys off that's uh one to do the job and one as backup for when they need to go and eat and i think aside from that we are all good i don't think there's anything else that we need to make sure uh, one person does whilst another person doesn't. To be honest, it's just the art that re really matters there. Oh look, they dropped some field rations on the floor. Let's uh, let's sweep those up at the highest priority. Well, not the highest priority, but whatever priority that puts those in at. Uh, all the paintings are going up. Now, I want to also put these at, I don't know, about a seven. Uh, so that whoever is the artist kind of prioritises those. Not above everything else, but quite highly. Uh, not quite above... Ooh... Camilla is stressed. Now, what I would like to do here is find Camilla's bed, go to the massage table and just tell her to go there. And she should just run straight there. Look at that. Beautiful. And now she'll just start slowly easing the stress out of her shoulders. After a nice long day, there's nothing quite like having two great big wooden hands work the knotty back of your muscle. The back of your muscle, the muscle of your back, that is kind of what I was going for, into a nice relaxed state of submission. Also have some blue stuff fall out of your bum. Seems to be part of the case. Uh, she wants some plants, or at least some decoration. I mean, decoration is the thing we're going for here. So let's try and put them up high. Uh, here we go. Carl is eating. Who, who is our artist? Who is our resident artist here? Carl is the resident artist. So as soon as he can actually get to stuff, that would be pretty cool. We are over three quarters of the way through the day. Let's uh, speed it up again. I don't know how I've managed to get myself back down onto real time. Whilst I do quite enjoy watching these guys walk, run around at real time, I do prefer being at just a little bit faster of a pace. Algae, we're, we're going to go around and deliver algae, are we? Is this up to a nine? This, this is something. Max gas pressure. Oh, this is nice. Perhaps we need an air pump there and a gas vent down here somewhere. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Carl is on his way, making this place more beautiful. More beautiful than we could possibly imagine. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure what he's going to paint. Well, I'm kind of sure what he's going to paint. Because as far as I can tell, there are two types of paintings that, that, that can be produced in this game. There are bad ones, and there are good ones. The bad ones looks like a child's stick figure with some like extra paint splatters on it. And the good ones look like a bad rendition of the Mona Lisa. I'm not sure why you can't get any better than a bad rendition, but that's kind of the, the best we can do. Halfway through there. Halfway. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Such a great wake up sound. Uh, ooh, stinky. Who, who's stinky? What? Why are you complaining about stink? Are you complaining about the stink? No one seems to actually be complaining about the stink. Okay, I saw, I saw a bad, bad symbol. Yeah, look, this, this is the masterpiece. Like a bad rendition of the Mona Lisa, right? 
But hopefully, if we have a look, uh, oh, I mean, there's a little bit of de decor there. Uh, so from the masterpiece, we get 22 decor. What's what's going on down here? We've got clutter everywhere. This is the prop. Look at that, minus 65 on the clutter. Ow. So maybe we do need to sweep all this up, at least in the bedroom, right? Okay, let's put this up to a nice high priority and see if we can't clear all that out. I, I don't think it is, actually. I think we're going to have some troubles. Camilla is getting nice and de-stressed. She's down at about half of what she was when she went in there. These guys, unfortunately, have filled up this storage compactor. So if we want other stuff to go in there, we're going to have to find, I don't know, maybe somewhere else for sandstone. Uh, do these guys need to be... I, I suppose we could put one down here. We don't need to actually close these off. So if I make this a nine and tell it to just be sandstone, what we'll do is we will... Throw all the raw minimal <laughs> minerals minerals out and then make this just a raw mineral one. There we go. That should hopefully balance out nicely. Uh, if we could just get everything. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Everything is being tidied up a good one. The clutter is still pretty bad, but it's getting better. It's getting better. Oh, look at this. Ah, okay. Who knew that the clutter was so bad? I honestly had no idea that it was quite as bad as it was. So let's put this back on a seven. It's not as um, not as important as everything else that we have at a high high priority. Supposedly, I've got insufficient oxygen being generated today, which is a bit weird because we appear to be full of oxygen. I mean, literally full to brim. Uh, if we could just, like, maybe punch a hole through there, we'd end up filling everything else. Uh, th there's even more oxalite producing more oxygen down here. I, I just don't believe it when it says that we are not producing enough oxygen. I, I literally call shenanigans on that one. This gas piping is still going on. As soon as we get this all the way up, I then want to go for the sanitation scientist, or maybe the power regulation. We could uh, do with upgrading the batteries somewhat. I'm not sure at what actually happens when you upgrade those batteries. Uh, what's in here that doesn't want to be in here? Not sure. Raw metal is quite a lot of stuff. Okay, let's, let's make another metal box somewhere. Maybe up here. Here. There's no way I'm going to remember all of this, but we're just going to have to hope that the duplicates are a little bit smart and know where everything is kept. That, that's the hope, anyway. Uh, so this wants to be a metal one, and then we're just going to throw it out of here. That wasn't anywhere near as much as I was hoping for. Let's uh, sweep nine those. Is all this going to now get moved into there, though? That, that is kind of what I'm... Oh, look how quickly it's filling up. Maybe there'll be another way of doing it. There's got to be a better way somewhere. I I'm sure it's just more storage compactors, you know. End of day nine. Going well, actually. Going well. We might have a slightly shorter five-day report than, than last time. But, you know, the first one was, like, super intense with all the different stuff going on. I would put a storage room up top so you could just have, you see how we've got all these batteries here. I'll just have a like a similar set out of storage compactors. But that then means they've all got to run up to the top every time they want to go and get some stuff. And I'm not sure if that's the that's the type of place I want to run. Uh, it's, I mean, as it is, going up and down these ladders all the time is taking a bit of time out of my... Guy. Who's... So, someone's dropping some smelly stuff. And I can't, I can't see where it is. I'm also going to uh, boost that up to as high as possible so that smelly stuff does get processed as quickly as possible. There we go, just like that. Turning all our nasty, contaminated stuff into fertilizer, which, as far as I'm aware, doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. I just heard the noise for research, so let's go in and have a look. Yes, indeed. Straight on to sanitation scientist. Uh, sciences and as soon as we've done that we'll be moving on to percolation but I've got a feeling that we are about ready to be wrapped up here I want to tidy up and sweep up these rooms I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen I will see you next time where we're gonna expand into the world of sanitation we're gonna get ourselves some proper lavatories on the go maybe another set up there food shortage this should be let's put this back up to a relatively high priority here waiting for these mill woods to grow and that should then balance out the food situation but yes i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye